I'm gonna be real with you guys. I have a little bit of a headache today. So if I'm not like super high energy, although I don't feel like I'm normally super high energy, I've already prefaced that I would be like this, so that makes it okay. What's the best thing I can do while having a headache? Sit in front of a screen. So that's what I'm doing. So I did something off recording, yeah which I was gonna try and pretend like I didn't know about and it was done by MCC, but it doesn't feel very authentic. I found out that you could impregnate female sims with other female sims. Who did I want to test this on? The one and only Nancy Landgrab and Rosie. <laughs> Since I all moved them into the house, I wanted to create lots more babies to make the whole situation more chaotic. I feel like we should have made a series about them rather than about myself. There is absolutely no method to my madness. One of the things I did want to do was make Jeffrey pregnant with Nancy's baby, but I didn't realize that elders actually couldn't have babies. That was a revelation to me. It does make sense. But who is pregnant, Rosie. Rosie's pregnant. So we're gonna throw her a baby shower today. Very exciting. Yeah. You may also notice that I have switched up the house a little bit. I made these couches green to suit my green couch. Um, which I'm, I'm not gonna show you. I don't personally like our couch, but I do like the color of it. So this is the color of our couch now. Things you guys don't care about. What do you have at a baby shower? Is this a woman only event? I feel like that's historically what it's like, but it's kind of weird, isn't it? Why do you only have women at a baby shower? Maybe I should Google this. Traditionally, only women are invited, although that has changed in recent years. Okay, okay. You know, it's too bad that I usually play with walls down. This looks so pretty. Oh shit, this is so pretty. What the hell? We need to go really bougie, you know? She's a global superstar. You know, we're kind of making it seem like maybe we're a little bit jealous <laughs> of Nancy. <laughs> yes, I'm even recoloring these. Don't at me, okay? It's a weird phrase for someone who doesn't really use Twitter to say. Oh my God, why do I not have this? I want this. We can put like plate stuff. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is so pretty. How many times can I say pretty in one episode, do you reckon? That's kind of baby, isn't it? Oh, yes. Oh, more balloons. <laughs> We're just gonna stick them everywhere, okay? Is it color coordinated? No. Do I care? No. Oh, I'm just really jamming away there. Okay, great. <laughs> so glad that I'm enjoying myself. Do you want to say hello? Ah, yeah, same. Is this a house party? Yeah. Rosie, honored guest. Alex, Megan, of course. Darth Maul, of course. What? Oh, what? <gasps> oh my god! Nancy aged up. What the hell? I need a bougie outfit for this occasion. I'm like a socialite now, you know? Wow, Bella. <laughs> Our entertainer is a ghost. Okay, it's gonna get Alex to do all the socializing for us because we both know that if I talk to anyone other than just Bella, I'm gonna get stranger to danger. It's gonna be chaos. Uh, what was I saying for? Oh yeah, I'm really excited to see Rosie's baby bump. Am I getting clucky? <laughs> Alex has come to defuse the situation. I'm talking to a new person. Pretty outrageous for me. Oh, and that's the cue. Rosie has arrived. Oh <laughs> my god. I forgot to give her some pregnancy outfits. Oh, she's arrived with Nancy. Oh my God, Nancy. Snatched him up just before all your eggs dried up. Wow, is that savage? That might've been rude. Oh, I got my little crew here. Look at this. Oh, I'm gonna take screenshots. This is the best. Oh, look, this is like some kind of like sitcom. There's people in the way though. We both look so good from all angles. <laughs> Dream life. Ask baby's due date. Yeah, when's it popping out? Where did Rosie go? She is the entertainment now. Oh, we can ask to feel the baby. <gasps> There's no way in hell he would ever do this. <laughs> We're both equally terrified of children. <laughs> I am such a little leech. I like how the caterer has just abandoned this meal halfway through. Like, where are you leaving? Are you serious? See, this is why I don't hire caterers. Oh, we have fireworks. Can we let them off inside? This seems like it would be a fire hazard, but um, I'm hoping Sims might have looked past that. Wait, I'm saying goodbye to everyone. No, don't say goodbye. There's fireworks. Okay, Alex, I'm gonna need you to set these off for me. Okay, I've broken, I've broken them. I've broken them. <laughs> oh, we going? Oh, oh, uh-oh. 
Okay. Oh shit. Um, unbelievable Sims. I am so disappointed. Oh no, it caught Bella on fire. <sighs> oh, so it's not because it was inside that it went up in flames. It was faulty. Megan would like to be an adult now. Listen, I would like you to be an adult now as well. Megan, why are you flirty? Your parents just caught on fire and you're like, hmm, I won't get it on. <gasps> Oh, we can give Megan the woohoo talk. You know, I never got the woohoo talk. And my school never offered sex ed. Isn't that weird? Wow, she's taken that really well. Oh, I made her embarrassed. Haha. <laughs> oh yeah, she ain't enjoying this. Fair enough. Any way to kick her out of the house, you know? Whoa, whoa, don't be hating, okay? And off I go to, wait, what the hell? Oh my God, she even left that bloody caterer. I paid a hundred bucks for her. All right, Megan's off. I feel like I won't make her work hard today because like every teenager, she needs an awkward, shitty romance to happen. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I feel like Alexander Goth isn't really doing anything. Plus he has the same name as her father, which is, it's not ideal, is it? It's not really what you want. Megan met Jeremy at school. I would be excited except for that hair. Not a candidate I would choose for my daughter. I'm a vain motherfucker, aren't I? Oh, I can vent now. I was hoping to turn this into a romantic interaction, but I can't help but click vent when it's there. It's just too much like me. Oh, I'm happy again. Don't vent, don't vent, don't vent. Wait, can I make them talk over here? Sit and chat here. We need some of this romantic sandalwood oh my god look at me go i want to get me pregnant again just for the lols and because i hate myself but i want them to do it but i don't know if it's possible you know ah oh, what hello what the hell no stop 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 okay i just wanted one nice moment how often do i do the romance between these two sims never maybe this is just a challenge oh he's right back i'm just, I'm just gonna sell these i'm just gonna sell these okay come back come back come back kiss passionately. Wait, Alex is about to go to work in an hour. Damn it, quickie it is. Oh no, she meant Max. I doubt this is gonna result in a baby, but there's a very small chance. Oh, Jeffrey wants to hang out. <laughs> no, thank you, Jeffrey, but nice try. Wait, why is she tense? And she's also enraged. Oh, she's having a mood swing. Wait, I've made her happy, but she's still enraged. <laughs> uh, okay, that's, that's fine. We'll just take her out. Take out all my new friends. Oh, Candace. <laughs> I've never seen her before. We'll take her out. <laughs> Let's order stuff for everyone because we are very wealthy. Plasma Jane, amazing. Let's do it. We are literally about to blow our Fufu Valve, but um, as long as everyone likes us. It's nice that we've got some girlfriends now. And it's a nice change from the blonde crew that my sim was friends with. <laughs> Lucille is a vegetarian. What a unique personality trait. How long is she gonna be enraged for? Five hours, good God. Oh my goodness. Wow, I've never seen this before. What is happening? I was hoping there would be a whole bunch of attractive guys that we could flirt with, but um, there are these two. Well, I guess it's time to make some bad decisions. Wait, she doesn't get along with someone? I don't really want to go and have dinner right now, but interesting to know that she doesn't get along with someone. Oh, speaking of not getting along, Candy's pregnant? I want to say hello. Who's the father? Oh, she's finally going to speak to Alexander. Well, I guess we'll stay on task. You know, we could just maybe change him up a little bit and then maybe we could make it happen. I don't know. Maybe the eyebrows. He just looks very concerned a lot of the time. Like, I feel like that's better. Well, that's not so bad. Take off the flares. Do we have any pants that are like normal? Oh yeah, okay, that's that's a bit more normal. Looking very glamorous. Oh yes. That looks fine. He's got a lot of very outrageous outfits. We can really be mean to him. I'm gonna select Brighton Day. Oh hell yeah, Billy's gonna get to know Max. This was probably a bad idea. Isn't he like a crazy motherfucker? And Alexander's off. All right, goodbye my mans. <laughs> She's just gone to sleep. Well, so much for finding someone to uh, get with on our night out. I guess we'll just leave. Next time, hopefully we'll see Rosie's baby and we're gonna be aging up Megan, which will be great because there's so much fuckery that's left to happen. And unfortunately for her, she is the sim I'm going to use for rags to riches. <laughs> yeah, okay, well, um, see you next time, I guess. Bye.